Hey friends, how, how are you? Hope you're well. Uh, welcome to my next author spotlight video. Now, this author is no longer with us. She is, she is passed. But her legacy of a certain series has still carried on and you know there are lots of people who love the two series that I'm about to talk to you about because they are just so good the characters are excellent and yes with the series you're always going to get um, books that are not as good as others um, one series in particular people are now writing fill-in books for it so there are certain th situations you're like oh I wonder what happened and people are now uh, authors are now writing fill-ins and it's brilliant it is so good because it's really nice to find out what possibly happened next and what happened to these characters so the series the first series i want to talk to you about is the shelley school and it's by eleanor m brent dyer now this series the shelley school series has i think it's 68 books in it okay and we follow our main character Jo and her sister Madge for like in all of the books the um, Madge sort of drops out she comes she comes in and out of through the whole series Jo is there from book one so the premise of this this story is that Madge and her twin brother Dick um, have had to bring up Jo from a very early age because her parents passed away and they were brought up they were sort of taken care of by a guardian and some aunts uh, but something has happened to the guardian and it means that they're going to have to find somewhere new to live now Dick has already got a job out in India uh, with the forestry people but they can't take Joe there because Joe's a young child was very ill with pneumonia and has a very like a uh, a bad chest. So Madge settles on the idea of starting a boarding school in the Austrian Tyrol, in this beautiful little village that has a gorgeous lake that they used to. They've been on holiday there a couple of times and they really they really liked it. So that is the start of the story and it's also the start of, you know, the the pupils that they gain, um, the mistresses that come, the adventures that they have. So there are a number of stories set in the Austrian Tyrol and then they move from there to England due to the second world war um and explains why they had to one of the books explains exactly why they had to move and they go to Guern. they start off they sort of go to guernsey and then they come to england and they have some time in england and then they move to wales and from wales they then move to the bernese oberland in switzerland so you have all these different locations you have loads of different characters um, you have some of the characters that we meet at the very in the story come back um, because they're Joey's friends or because they become teachers um, themselves at the school so you have that continuity which is brilliant um, you know I love this series if I'm ever if I'm not feeling well and I, I still want to read but I don't read anything really really heavy I will go for a Shally school and I mean I pick them up you've seen over the last couple of months I've been reading fill-ins because I'm also trying to collect all the fill-ins as well um, there's one coming out I know this month so I'm going to be getting that but I just love these characters I love the storylines I love hearing about where they are what they're doing um, the adventures they're having the food they're eating I am lucky that I've been to where the the Shally School is, you know, started off. I've been to Lake Achensee in the Austrian Tyrol. I've gone up the Little Cog Railway. I've been on the lake in one of the steamer boats. So I've done that and I, you know, I can really picture it. And it's just, 
brilliant. Even you know, even from the descriptions that Eleanor M. Brent Dyer does, you you can see where you know you can really picture it because she's so good at that. I haven't been to any of the other locations. I would love to. I know that the Welsh one, the part of it, is, is sort of based on Tenby. And my aunt was from Tenby. You know, my my aunt by marriage, Aunt Wynne, was from Tenby. So at some point I would love to do go and do that. And, oh, yeah, definitely want to do the Bernice Oberland um, sort of part of it as well. In book two, which is Joe of the Chalet School, there is a description of Innsbruck at Christmas. And it's like, oh, it's just, I'm like, oh, I would love to, love to do that. Um, so yeah, so definitely, if you like boarding school stories, if you like stories with like a lot of characters, multiple POVs, you know, you and just a great cast of characters, I would definitely, definitely pick up the Shelley School. The other series that she wrote was what she calls the La Rochelle series and this is the first one which is called Ger Jerry Goes to, to School. Now these are, there is a connection with the Shelley School in that a number of the characters that happen in the La Rochelle series make appearances in the Shelley School series. Some of the children that you meet in this end up at the Shelley School as well. So it is a really good series to also read. Um, I actually haven't read the La Rochelle series for a while. I should really get back to it. I should really, there are seven in the book, seven books in this series. So um, I should really get back to it and, and read. I have all seven of them, read them ages ago. So yeah, it's, I don't want to say much about the Lara Cell series because they are, as I say, you meet some of the characters that do happen to be in the next, in the various books. So Jerry Goes to School is, how can I describe, this is, she's, I cannot, rem, I honestly cannot remember. Um, I think that Jerry is a girl who ends up with a, a family because of family circumstances. I think she's related to them. Like she could be a cousin and she's never been to school before and they feel that it's about time she does and that it's her trying to settle into a school environment. It's not the Shally school, it's just an, an, or, a, a, you know, a, a non Shally school school. Um, but Jerry actually ends up being friends with Griselle Cochran, who happens to be one of the main characters in the first set, first lot of um, Shally school books. You meet her in the school at the Shally. She's the first pupil, apart from Joey, that Madge gains, as it were. So, Jerry, you meet Jerry in a couple of Shally school books when, you know, Griselle has um, left school and is training at university she comes she comes back for a visit and brings jerry with her so you have that tie in from there and then various as i say various other people that you meet within the la rochelle series because it's set in um the channel islands it's set in guernsey so we meet some of the when the shelly school moves to guernsey for a wee bit we meet some of the characters from that so yeah really good she has written she did write some other books she wrote that i haven't read i know that she wrote some books about a girl who becomes a vet there's another one which is called lorna i think it's Winyards and sisters for lorna i haven't read either of that i haven't read that duology so yes yeah, so she wrote you know other a few some other books but she did predominantly read write the shally school and La Rochelle and see very much intertwining but oh Shally School is just a very nice gentle escape that makes you want to go and be part of it meet all these various characters and 
you know just soak up the atmosphere um so if you as I say they can be quite hard to get some of them if you go to girls gone by publishing i will leave a link down in the description bar for them um you can possibly they they are doing reprints of certain shelley school books i will also leave or if you want to know where else you can get some because they don't can't girls gone by don't have all the series and i know that they only print reprint certain ones if you try a books good old amazon thrift books um they're kind of the three that i look for uh books that I want to to get from the Shadow School series if I'm if I'm needing to pick some up so those are the three places I go but again I will try and remember to leave links to them down in the description bar but I, you know, I hope you will go and pick up the Shadow School at some point because it was just so so good and I think you would enjoy La Rochelle as well um, it's a very different sort of theme to uh, the Shadow School but again, really, really enjoyable and another great cast of characters who will, you'll meet on and off during the Shally School read. But I hope you've enjoyed this, this video, friends. And if you've actually ever read any Shally School, please let me know, or La Rochelle, or any Eleanor and Brent Dyer. If you've read any of her books, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. I would love to chit chat with you about them and if you want to know any more information um if i haven't covered things that you maybe you want to know please again chat to me down in the comments it would be great to to chat about this series and the la rochelle and i will speak to you in my next video friends stay safe and happy reading bye